Hey y'all, it's Dorothy from PrepInYourStuff.com and I am back for another favorites video. I have really loved filming these videos for y'all, so I'm excited to be doing one for August, which it's crazy that August is already over. I am, when you're watching this, back at school and there are only a couple more videos in this setup and then you'll be able to see my apartment, which I'm really excited about. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to jump into the products I've been loving. So first is something that I loved in the past but kind of forgot about, and that is my Claritonic Mia. This is great. I had stopped using this this past school year, and I don't really know why I did, but I just put a new brush on the top, and I've been using it a ton this month because my face was breaking out more than normal. So it has been a great tool to have, and I just think a Claritonic feels so good on your face. So it has a timer in it, and you just go on your forehead, down your nose, your chin, and each cheek, and it times you which is great to make sure that you're getting it like even um, exfoliation, I guess. But I am glad that I rediscovered this and hopefully I won't forget about it again because it has been great for my skin. Next is an eyeshadow palette that I know I've showed you all before. It is this Lorac, I don't really know how to say that, just seven shade eyeshadow palette and all the shades are really neutral, which I like. I mean, I'm not going to dive into like these really dark ones, but I've been using this shade a whole lot and loving it. So, I usually don't wear eyeshadow, but this has made it so that sometimes I feel like putting it on, which I have really been liking. Next is kind of a random favorite, but I forgot how great it feels to shave your legs with shaving cream. And I recently picked up this Venus Olay Vanilla Cashmere Shave Cream, I guess? Shave Gel, according to the packaging. And it moisturizes my legs so nice. It makes it so that I get a really close shave which is great. I just haven't used shaving cream since who knows when and decided to pick it up because my legs were getting dry from being out in the sun a lot and I had been getting a tan and I didn't want it to fade just yet so I love this moisturizing shave cream. Also dealing with moisturizing my legs is this St. Ives Fresh Hydration Lotion and this is a spray on lotion. I know I talked about this before and it's great because it kind of sprays on like a sunscreen and I don't really like the feeling of lotion on my hands. I know that's weird but I only want hand lotion on my hands. I don't want like leg lotion or arm lotion. I guess that would be called body lotion all over my hands. So this is great because you can just spray it on and you're good to go. You can rub it in if you want. You don't have to. But I really like the smell of this as well. And I think they should make like aloe and something like this. Maybe they do. Maybe I just don't know about it. But that would be handy and this is so easy to use and this one scent is naturally indulgent coconut milk and orchid extract and I think it smells really good and there's also an orange one that I have that I really like this is just the one I grab I think I rotate between them so both smell great and both have been used a lot lately so the last of the beauty favorites is a perfume and this is a perfume I've had I think since senior year of high school I love perfumes because they don't really like go bad I mean I guess they could but mine have it. And this is just Chanel's Chance Ophrage. This is the green one. And it smells so good. It's just a nice, light, fresh, almost springy scent. But, I mean, it works into summer really well. And I've been using this on occasion when I'm going out with friends or going places and want to smell even better. So it's great. I also think that this would be great, like, just to spray in a room to freshen it up because it is... It can be like decently strong, but it'll be light enough in the room to make it smell really good, and it's just been great to have. Now for my favorite of favorites to talk about, food. So obviously, you eat a lot, I snack a lot, and so I have two favorite snacks this month, the first of which were these Wheat Thins, and I love Wheat Thins. Wheat Thins are just like my go-to snack in the pantry. I think we always have at least a box, if not two. And I just love having them with like a sandwich or as a light snack. They're just so yummy and I don't know how you couldn't like the way they taste. I mean, maybe if you're gluten free or something, that like wouldn't really work for you. But these are just my favorite snack lately if I'm like at my house. And then for on the go, because these are go size, I've been reaching for this Skinny Pop popcorn. And this is the white cheddar flavor and it looks kind of smushed just because it was in a big bag with like the other little boxes but this stuff is so good I know Skinny Pop and Boom Chicka Pop are probably very similar but I've always gravitated towards Skinny Pop and it's great because there's so much popcorn in this bag for it being only 100 calories so it says it's non-GMO, indulged, guilt free and it's gluten free so it's really tasty it's got a light white cheddar 
taste and it also they also have other flavors if you're interested in that so if you haven't tried this and you like popcorn and you like snacking on popcorn get these okay now I have two like planning favorites. The first of which is this blog planner that I've had for a while. I think I got it first semester of this past school year and it is by Heart and Arrow Design. So if y'all don't know, I have a blog. That's like where I kind of started this. A lot of y'all have asked for videos so I've done some but I love blogging. Blogging will always come first to me and this is a great blog planner because it is completely customizable. It says the week of so you can write in the week and then it has a space for you to write down what your blog post of that day is going to be about. And then it has little check marks that say write post, add images, proof and edit, schedule. And then on the side it says Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. So that you remember to tell people about your post and what you've written about. And I just like it because I've been planning a lot of stuff in advance because I am going back to school. And I don't want to just be swamped with school stuff, especially those first couple weeks. They can be a bit overwhelming. So I wanted to make sure that I already had ideas for good content for y'all, and this is the way I do that. And then my second planning favorite should come as no surprise. I've talked about agendas so much in videos lately, but it is my Lily Pulitzer agenda. It starts in the month of August, so naturally I started using it this month. I think I've only written down like, mmm just like school calendar, academic calendar stuff, and different events for my sorority, but I will definitely be doing an agenda organization video soon once it has more writing in it because I want it to be something that's showing y'all what I actually write in it. I don't want to have to like make up stuff so that you can see what I do. I'd much rather it be more genuine and natural so that y'all can see how I actually organize it, but this is the jumbo size and I love it. Alright, my last favorite is a bit random, but it is a pair of sunglasses, and these sunglasses are rented. So, I just recently found out about this great company, they reached out to me, they're called Ditto, and they allow you to rent designer sunglasses. Well, your first month can be free using a code that they sent me, but for $19 a month, which is great. And this works especially great for me because I have a really small face. And a lot of times I don't have like a Nordstrom nearby and Nordstrom seems to have so many sunglass options but I don't know where to go for other sunglass options because I don't have those big department stores. So when you want to try things on ahead of time this is a great way to do so. And I got the Illust Illustiva, Illustiva, I don't know how to say it but they are really popular and you've probably seen them all over different blogs and Pinterest. But they are these cute matte tortoise I actually wear these a lot in my girls lake trip vlog so if you want to see these on definitely head to that video but I love these and these are usually $170 which is kind of pricey for a pair of sunglasses if you ask me but I'm really considering purchasing these because I really love the way they look and I love that they're a little bit different than what everyone else seems to be wearing I mean they're getting a lot more popular so more and more people will start to get these but if you don't like this particular pair you can rent Ray-Bans, Karen Walker, all sorts of sunglasses through their site and it's just awesome. So if you want to do your first month free, I know I have a coupon code and I'll link that below and you can always cancel after your first month if it's not your thing so that you have just a free month of fun sunglasses. But I think this is especially great in the summer and fall when a lot of people love this tinted shade Ray-Bans and different glasses. So you can try them out before deciding whether or not you want to purchase them or maybe you just want something for a fun vacation you have coming up and you can't decide which of your sunglasses to wear and you'd like a new pair but you don't want to pay for one. So these are a great option and I especially love the ones that I picked out. So those are all of my August favorites for y'all. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already definitely subscribe. I have been trying to post videos every Monday and Thursday with some Saturday videos and if all things go as planned I have a lot more Saturday videos planned. I'm not sure how that'll kind of factor into going back to school but I'll be doing my best to update y'all with new videos and as always I have blog posts going up every weekday so definitely check me out over there and on my social media which is linked below and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye!